here we go. So I've been uh, working on some more parts here for the Brown and Sharp uh, hand wheel. Uh, here's my one of my cranks, and why they really did a number on that, huh? I broke it right off, bent it over. So uh, if I can, you know, I always prefer to save an original part. Um, so, you know, how am I going to fix this here? So what I did, uh, I took this one here, I chucked it up in the lathe and got it, you know, more or less straight. And I turned it, or excuse me, I faced it off until I got past the threads that go into there. And, uh, you know, the quarter drill size went in there pretty far. And, uh, and then I used that size drill bit in the tailstock here, got it aligned, and uh, it ran it a little bit deeper. And um, Anyway, so I cut new threads in there, uh, but I put fine thread. And uh, this faced off surface is, is really, really close to 7 16 if it ain't right on. So I got a piece of 7 16 drill rod here. Fits on there and man, it lines up really nice. I like that. So, what I did here is I drilled this uh, 5 16 course. And uh, what I got to do now, I'm going to have to turn myself a little shoulder here and thread that 5 16 uh, fine. And then I'll put some Loctite on here and put this together. And uh, that'll pretty much make these here just like the original. Well, I mean, this whole part of it will be original, but uh, I don't think too many people are going to be complaining, saying, hey, that's not the original part, right? Anyway, um, I think probably after I get done with that, I might put this in the lathe and, and polish this all up and get it nice and shiny like it was new. It's sure going to stand out a lot against that. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess that's about that. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can't actually get some action video going on here at some point. Um, I finally got this tripod now, so I need to figure out where I can put it and work and not to not destroy my equipment <laughs> in the process. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you around.